this is the toyota fortuner we don't care about it at all what we care about is this fj cruiser which is sort of a hummerish look-alike vehicle from toyota and it's kind of weird because it's like a rolls royce as well now i thought this car had actually been discontinued but mujhe yahan pe showroom mein dikhi to i'm like let's do a freaking walk around of this vehicle you see the doors the rear doors are really chintu mintu because these are suicide freaking doors i kid you not i was also sure i was like how did they manage this yeah suicide freaking doors hey that's kind of obnoxious tick that rolls royce Tick that Tata Ultros. <laughs> this is the adventure trim, and uh, it kind of seems adventurous with these tires, which seem a little bit off-road specific to me. In fact, the size of the tires two seventy-five, seventy, seventeens. Can you read what is written here? It says race wheels. I really like the design of the wheels. Ah, huh? massive tires, and of course, it's very capable of the road as well. But there's no space at the rear. <laughs> there's no space at all. This is actually what is the third row in most of the cars. The second row in this FJ Cruiser is like that. But there is a storage bin right there. This is actually for children, and then then obviously open the door, and there's space here as well. And then kind of functional, easy to get in and out. Obviously because the doors open really very wide, and you can see the cabin. There's actually things to hold on to, and yeah, center passenger gets a head, which is amazing. Okay, seat belts get the height adjust function. Okay, so I'm just assuming and trying to understand that if someone is actually seated here, this guy opens the door. The seat belt will open how much? Like, let's see what is the how? Okay, it, the seat belt doesn't move. My goodness, the seat belt does not move. When if you're going to try something really weird, so I'm just going to try and put the seat belt right like this, and seat belt in place. Yeah, baby, that is what I'm talking about. That extends massively. इसके आगे तो जाने नहीं वाला, but yeah. <laughs> I pity the driver and the person sitting at the front when someone decides to open the rear door, but that won't open till the front door is open. But hey, why are there no controls to open the doors from the outside? That's kind of weird. You get a physical handbrake. Uh, these are the controls for the outside rear view mirror adjustment, and this is obviously, I think, for what cruise control or something of that sort. Steering wheel is so plain and basic. There is no button on the steering wheel. Instrument cluster is also super duper basic inside this car, like really basic stuff. And then you get a lot of data here, analog stuff, of course. Compass, not from Jeep, and Altitude measurement and stuff like that. So yeah, that's also there, and you get a massive screen. The screen is like what is the size of the screen? Air conditioning controls, manual traction control button, fog light, I think, parking sensors, and there's a switch which I don't know and I don't care what it is about. Aux USB. There's also 12 volt charging socket. USB will obviously be regular USB. It won't be USB C. I'm struggling to opening it or to open it. I'm not going to open it. So there's a cup holder here. This is for the gear selector for the off-road mode. Gear lever. And this is for picking up a call and declining call. I've never seen something like this. This is actually to browse through this screen here. And there's a cup holder here. There's a lot of storage space. Like this car is like a cupboard for me right now. Seats are actually comfortable. There's a fire freaking extinguisher. Every car which goes off road needs to have a fire extinguisher. And then Toyota gives such big manuals now that nobody actually reads them. You can lock and unlock the door from the other side as well. Dashboard design looks really very nice and attractive. I like it. No auto dimming inside rear view mirror. And there, oh my goodness. This is for the off-road mode, speed on the top, and a lot of four by four modes, and there is a sun visor on the side as well. Where have you seen a car which has sun visor on the side, and then obviously a mirror along with a light as well? That's kind of cool, but a sun visor on the side—that's a first. I've never seen that in my life. There's storage space here, above the steering wheel. There's actual storage space, like a glove box. This is really obnoxious the car like what is Toyota thinking while making it let's do one thing let's open the engine bay which means there's a lever somewhere here what this is tire pressure monitor below <laughs> anything they put anywhere they don't uh, figure out where is what and they just decide okay, you know what wherever we find space we'll just put in it's like very random at the rear of course you got this uh, cover for the lights the lights look really nice says Toyota right there and spare wheel obviously gets an alloy and it's massive the spare wheel the wiper the way it has been done it it's like again something very unique and weird like it's going to come across through the body how does that even work <laughs> let's do one thing let's open the boot and then obviously it opens sideways like the eco sport here you see there is a compressor so that you can fill in air once you go off road and then there is good amount of storage here where is the spare wheel which is obviously there okay A lot of hard plastics inside this car, and then 60/40 split as well. We are just going to shut this for a moment. Exposed cruise and all, but the FJ Cruiser has been a complete flop, is what I've heard from a lot of people here, at least, and uh, no, globally in in the UAE people buy it. The antenna is placed in the front, and uh, there you can see the suspension, very capable as such. There is a baby stroller right in front, and it, these lights are oh my god, static. 
after market lights nice round stuff happening right there let's open the engine bay right away to see what powers i think it's a 4 liter engine yeah this is a 4 liter engine which is a naturally aspirated unit it's so smooth it's so refined they were like mm, just skip the insulation here now shall we anyways we'll re read the specs quickly so adventure x is the variant 4 liter 6 cylinder engine 270 horsepower and it gets a bola performance exhaust system as well fox suspension with 2 inch lift too and uh, you know they are okay there's one variant which is like 36 lakh rupees for this particular car which seems a lot of value for money indeed and there is this vent here which is not functional Faisal Khan's fingers of truth super disappointed with that and that's not all okay you can see the car is obviously lifted a bit there is indicator here on the outside rear mirror this car is a lot about design and I think they've done a great job in terms of design Faisal Khan's fingers of truth looking for the exhaust the exhaust is real here that is the exhaust yeah <laughs> it's going to be loud and nice of course and then you can see the underbody body on frame platform for sure well rear parking sensors where's the rear camera there is the rear camera this is to lock the wheel so nobody steals it actually nobody's going to steal it here in the uae so guys this is the toyota fj cruiser it's a fantastic car but not really practical what i really love is this land cruiser pickup i mean this is i think probably from the 70s just look at it proper old school toyota logo on the top kind of gives you the coolest vibes and there's aftermarket lights probably i don't know maybe maybe not and then there's an antenna it is so freaking amazing okay <laughs> look at the suspension and the springs as well okay tire size well i need to figure that out but yeah it's a 265 70 17 and uh, then it says toyota land cruiser very old school is a pickup sort of a thingy and there is proper place to step up it says overlander four wheel drive of course there's the towing hook as well and that is a spare wheel <laughs> position inside so look from the side there you get proper snorkel as well this is such an amazing car i think the cost of this is somewhere around 70 lakhs let me check it out right now yeah no it's actually 40 lakhs again four liter engine 228 horsepower torque output is 37 kgm which should be around 370 newton meters five speed tricking manual gearbox on this car which is really amazing i love this oh static what the fuck is happening today and uh, car is locked no we just unlocked the car so dashboard design might remind you a bit about the old fortune at least the steering wheel might there's no tachometer it doesn't need it manual gearbox for the win i love the gearbox it's so freaking amazing and there is the gear selector USB charging socket, I don't know what that is, traction control button, AC vents are the old school types and there is a screen, a touch screen as well and uh, yeah that's about it, nothing much inside this car, seats seem decently comfortable, outside rear view mirror adjustment, off-road lights can be turned on from here so that's not aftermarket pestle, there's obviously no sunroof but there's a light there, there's no lighter but there's no auto dimming inside rear view mirror and this is to easily get in and out, let's do one thing, let's open this at, at the moment, this is 70 series by the way, okay here you can see what is this is for yeah okay you can move the seat probably yeah there you see you can move the seat you can recline it there's this small storage pocket like chintu mintu and it's like hidden and it's like i don't know what and then you can open the window probably from here to access the person who's sitting behind to say hi and stuff like that that is a dashboard design i think it's a fantastic vehicle i don't even know why i'm talking about this in the fg cruiser video but hey i just saw it and i'm like mm, this seems impressive compressor and all toyota hides all the buttons i have to like actually go and hunt and it's a single cab version i think like is there right in front land cruiser pickup and yeah the wheels are like very plain and basic that's what i like proper old school stuff fantastic and if you like this vlog make sure to give it the thumbs up that's the like button let me know which is the car toyota should launch because in the showroom they're amazing toyotas and thankfully there's no fake toyota and when i say that you know i mean glanza in urban cruiser